Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. The central banks of the world are no match for the global economy, the great George Gilder wrote in his newsletter last week, that the world's central bankers appear to be demoralized by their inability to push the world into recession. Gilder was referring to a Wall Street Journal front page that referred to focused on the strength of the global economy and how it could convince central bankers that they need to keep raising interest rates to throw cold water on a still-running economy. A little too hot. Dot books could be written, and so are they. Right now, in order to confirm the truth of the title of this report, all readers need to know that they are reading what central bankers believe to be true. They believe, literally against all logic and empirical reality, that economic growth drives prices up, and that rising prices is inflation, they are twice terribly wrong when it comes to basic economics, which is why we know their ma CHT is more theoretical than real. If such clueless individuals actually had the power to impose their disgusting central planning arrogance on the world economy, it would be too ruined for anyone to have the time and resources to write about it. Inflation? That is a drop in the unit of measure. In our case the dollar. Except that there hasn't been a meaningful decline in the dollar in recent years, which throws the whole inflation narrative into question. There have been higher prices, but to say that higher prices cause inflation is to say that heat makes the sun so bright. The causality is reversed. We have higher prices again, but are they a surprise after the 2020 lockdowns? Imagine that the political panic over the virus certainly dampened investment, according to which people working together around the world are the path to ever lowering prices. As of March 2020, this global collaboration was fractured and fractured to varying degrees. That production would not be as efficient and cheap after throwing a wrench into the global manufacturing machine, reads like a blinding view of the